Packers, Packers, Packers. Folks, I have a 2024 mock draft I want to share with you guys. First pick off the board is arguably one of the best offensive linemen in this whole entire draft. Athletic, great pass blocker, a quarterback's best friend, Amarius Mims coming out of Georgia. You cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with the Georgia offensive lineman. Um, that being said, we see people from big schools who don't pan out all the time. But Amarius is that guy. Watch the tape and thank me later. Then moving on, I have JT. And please forgive me if I say his last name wrong. Here it goes. Uh, to me, Malo. I tried. Uh, edge rusher coming out of Ohio State. Man, this dude is that guy. Um, he's going to he's gonna force turnovers. He's going to get tackles in the backfield. Um, arguably could potentially even slide towards the end of the first round could be early second round but he was there for 40 so i picked him up jt is a edge rusher man you can put him back at linebacker if you want but a great edge rusher who uh can cover in times of need you could put him in a lot of different packages man then we have linebacker tommy eichenberg tommy eichenberg man one of my favorite linebackers very very fast man and when he hits he hits to put you in the dirt he hits to put you in the dirt. He hurts. He hits to hurt you. He's that old school 1985 type linebacker, man. He, he's amazing. Moving on to Isaiah Adam, man. Overall, a very, very good uh, offensive guard, man. And I think I think in two to three years, he could be potentially one of the best in the league. I think the world out of Isaiah and uh, he's a really, really great player. Then we got running back Marshawn Lloyd. Now, I'm going to say the good and the bad about Marshawn. Marshawn could potentially put a team on his back. Marshawn almost reminds me of Marshawn Lynch. they just a different person with a different last name. Marshawn also did have some fumbles this year. He did. I want to say two to three. I don't have a stats in front of me right now, but Marshawn is, is a great player who has tremendous upside. And uh, a guy who is, if it's fourth and one, if it's third and three, that's a guy you definitely want to hand over – hand over the ball and have in that backfield so uh i definitely hope they take and they uh sign their current uh, re-sign their current uh, running back but marshawn is a great guy to have there whether they do or they don't then i have Jaden hicks Jaden hicks is coming out of washington state man Jaden hicks forces fumbles Jaden hicks gets interceptions Jaden hits uh can stay with just about any receiver uh now he was tested in the washington game for sure um, but you, you see him, he's playing some of his best football and you see him make some mistakes. So uh, not the not the perfect defensive back, but a guy who any team that gets him, they're going to get a guy who's going to give his one thousand percent. Well, that ain't even possible to give a thousand percent. But with him, he will. <laughs> Jaden Hicks is a great player. Uh, then we have Luke Reimer, OK, linebacker coming out of Nebraska. Um, I want to say he had around five sacks. You know, he, he's a great guy, great field general. Huge, huge anchor for that defense over there. I like, love him a lot. Uh, great open field tackler as well. A guy who you could take and send him on the blitz. You can send him back in the coverage. Not bad when it comes to uh, guard and receivers, but that would be an area of opportunity if I could find any. But um, we saw that a little bit in the Colorado game and a few other games. But Luke is a great player, man, and a solid day three steal. And that's a guy we have not seen a ceiling yet. I believe we have not seen a ceiling yet. I'm excited to see what packages that they a uh, team like the Packers could take and put him in. So I do not see him leaving the Midwest. Uh, I think it would be great in the uh, you know, green, yellow, and white uniform. Then I have a quarterback, Joe Milton. Joe Milton. Why do I have Joe Milton there, guys? Because Joe Milton is everybody's talking about Drake May. Everybody is taking talking about Caleb Williams. Uh, so, some are even some really like Bo Nix a lot, right? I like Joe Milton a lot, and let me explain why. I'm a Jordan Love fan. I am so impressed with Jordan Love. I believe they potentially have their franchise guy. But if in the event, and this is going to be his second full year starting going next year, it's good to have a solid backup. It's good to have some pressure on him as well, too. Joe is also an older guy. I want to say he's 25, 24 around there. Um, low turnover, low turnover. He does get some yards with his feet. Uh, he had one year we had 100 something yards, another year we had 300 something yards. And this year, I think he was somewhere in that ballpark. Um, but he wins games with his arms. He is a pure pocket quarterback with a high IQ and low turnovers. I look for that in my backup. But also, if in the event Jordan Love slumps up, the Packers 
we'll have another guy they can also call to named Joe Milton. I'm a Joe Milton fan. Love that guy. I'm very, very proud of the work that uh, that he has done. Um, even, even when Hendon Hooker took and got injured last year, Joe Milton came in and balled out, gave his heart, man. So uh, Joe Milton fan all day, man. Uh, for the rest of my life, I'll be a Joe Milton fan. But I would love to see him in a, in a team like the Packers where they take care of their quarterbacks and they don't, you know, they, they, they stay committed. Brett Favre, they stay committed through all them damn interceptions, <laughs> you know, when he retired and didn't want to retire and was going to retire. And then they moved on um, to Aaron Rodgers, you know, and they stuck with him through all the years. They won a Super Bowl, right, just like they did with Favre. Um, and look, Jordan Love, you could do great things with him, and I'm excited because we have not seen a ceiling for him. But I think it's healthy to have a good quarterback competition or at least somebody there who's a backup. So Packers fans, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. If you like this mock draft, if you hate this mock draft, let's talk about it. Please hit that subscribe button. I cover the whole entire NFL, and I have one of the best NFL draft series on the internet i actually have live interviews on this show some of these guys may even be on the show so another 30 or so people should be coming between now and april catch you guys next time thanks for watching another episode of the touchdown with doug smith where i cover all 32 nfl teams plus nfl exclusive interviews hit that subscribe button hit the bell for the alerts comment below and we'll catch you next time on the touchdown with doug smith